Rose is called. It is head. Miami chooses to receive. Let's get started. Number 41 sets up and is ready to kick it away to start the game. Good kick here. Number 5 fields it deep. The 25, number 30, makes the tackle on the return. They've got the ball. Let's see if they can take care of business. Ball on the 26. Number 11 drops back. Bro. Number 15 tackles him way in the backfield for a big loss of yardage on the play. Second down. 29 yards to go. Ball at the seven yard line. Number 52 drops him several yards back. Nice tackle. Third and a long way to go. The Hurricanes are going with three wide receivers. Number 28 with the ball again. Number 30 takes him down after a medium game. The defense gave up a few there, but more importantly, they stopped them on third down, and that's always a moral victory for the defense. Number 13 will punt it away after a three and out. Not a good punt. Nice placement on the punt. It goes out, which prevents any return and also puts them back fairly deep on their own side of the field. That's just a fantastic play by the special teams, and they will be in great position for a quick score. Ball on the 12. Flag on the play. Let's get the call. Number 99 was a little too ready to go there and gets called for offsides. Good eyes by the ref. Ball at the seven-yard line. Number 99. So let me show you my Dolphin gameplay setting for running the games in 4K. So let me go to the general first. I'm using the DirectX 11. You can easily use the DirectX 12. Only the downside is that when using DirectX 12, you cannot run the benchmarking tool. So that's why I'm using the DirectX 11. For me, both of them give me the same result. For the adapter, I'm using the dedicated GPU, which is the GTX 6060 Ti or if you are going to play games in 4k for the dolphin gamecube emulator i will suggest you to at least go with the gtx 1050 or gtx uh, 6060 or ti or higher graphic card because it will help you to play games smoothly and you can see so i leave the aspect ratio in auto sometime you running the games in 16 by 9 dip the frame rate and increase the gpu load for the enhancement, I'm using the 4K 6X for the internal resolution and for anti-aliasing, I'm using the 2X. If I try to go with 4X or 8X, it will increase my GPU load. When I am running the games with 2X, it will only increase the GPU load up to 50%. Some games will go above 50%. So that's why I need some space left for the GPU maybe some some games are rendering a scene is which is very heavy so the fps is going to dip if i'm running at 4x or 8x the game is going to struggle a lot to run so 2x is the maximum i, I can recommend it so this all of the setting and everything remain the same for hack and advance now let me show you for the config everything remain the same i didn't change anything so yeah these are the setting for the dolphin emulator to run the games in 4k you are free to use my game footage file make sure just to give me a credit to my gmail geek channel name and then i have done the entire gamecube games library in 4k so every day i'm uploading sing one video at least for it i hope you can subscribe share my video and then above all i want you to leave a comment to let me know do you think the game is playable how is the audio quality how is the frame rate let's start the discussion in the comment section box below 
GameCube Revolution. GameCube will live forever. Subscribe and bye.